Hey guys, Dal King back here today. And guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to optimize your Windows 10 and your PC to get a maximum performance out of it for, for gaming. Um, I use this on GTA, ACC. It's, it's gained me so much on ACC, it really has. So I'm just going to go through it. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible and just give you all the information as, as we go through, okay? So first things first, what we're going to do, settings tab, we're going to go over to the gaming and we're going to turn off this this... Gaming Xbox bar. Captures off. Make sure this is all off, guys. Game mode we're going to leave on because it does it does gain us a little a few frames, like five to ten frames, having that on. Okay. Xbox networking should be off. Next thing we're going to go over to privacy. And now you're going to go down because all these are running in the background when you're playing, when you're gaming. And to be fair, unless you're using this PC for work as well. I highly recommend turning this off because this is more, this is probably five to 10 frames as well. So make sure general off, 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 speech off, turn all these off. Just run down the order. Location, the camera I leave on for streaming and my microphone. Make sure you leave them on guys, especially your microphone. Notifications off, account info's on. Contact is off, calendar off. Phone calls I leave on because I take calls from WhatsApp and stuff. Uh, email history, emails off, tasks on, messaging on, radios off. Other devices I have off. I don't use it for anything else. And now background apps. What I have running. Camera. Uh, feedback cardboard. You can just see here. Neither the control panel. My audio. Oh, Reddit. Audio console. Settings are on. Windows security. Okay. So just all off as we go down. Um, And this really did help. Really did help. Okay. After that, we're going to go over to your storage. Okay, once you're going to go down to storage settings, guys, um, I bet there's probably 99% of you out there like me who had this turned off. So you're going to turn it on, guys. And as you can see, we're going to configure the storage. And as you can see, this has cleared up to 10 gigabyte for me in the last month for just all, all, all stuff that we're not using. So I have this on every week. And as you see, it's going to clean now. Um... And literally, this really does help. Unless you're going to go in and clean your recycle bin, clean everything. Uh, just have this on every week, 14 days, 14 days. This really did help. Okay. So that's, after we've done that, we're going to go on to power settings. Once you're on power settings, guys, we're going to go to additional power settings. I didn't even know this is it. I've got mine on ultimate performance. Your PC may not have this, but it's probably on balanced or power saver. Put it onto high performance. This will give your CPU, GPU more power when it's needed as well. So this will definitely will help. Okay, guys. After that, back down to the to the start. Additional. And we're going to type in advanced system properties. You're going to go over to advanced settings and we're going to uh, it's going to be on let windows choose you're going to go adjust for the best performance and then what we're going to do we're going to put on uh show, th show uh, thumbnails show window content because if you turn that windows content off when you drag stuff it's not solid it just shows you the outline and that really was freaking annoying me so yeah i'm going to put that on okay apply and then we should be good after that guys what we're going to do <coughs> we're going to download the deliver the drivers now, guys, you need to check these every six weeks. There's probably an update for your driver. Okay, so make sure you're going to go onto your Nivida or whatever you're using. Say for Nivida drivers. Okay, Nivida. Uh, and we're going to look for... Sorry, this is the wrong... Default drivers. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. That's still the wrong one. Yeah, hold on. There is download drivers, and you're just going to select what whatever you have. As you can see, the 3080 Ti for me. You're going to search. You're going to download it. And guys, there's going to be a little section that comes up. Download the control panel or just the drivers. For me, I I personally only download the drivers. Okay, which I think is good. But always check this. Every four to five weeks, there's probably an update for your graphics card. Okay, to optimize it, and and this will help with with frame rate as well. Okay, once you've got that downloaded, you're going to have the little symbol here. You're going to double click it. It's going to come up. We're going to make sure we're on 240 resolution. Make sure your monitor is selected and make sure your resolution and your, and your refresh rate is the same. Then we're going to go to manage 3D settings. 
okay now this these two settings here gained me a lot of fps okay so power management prefer maximum performance so that's going to give us maximum performance on the graphics okay make sure that's selected after that we're going to scroll down texture filtering quality high performance we want on that as well okay guys make sure you apply it and then click off and that's this is also going to help your frame rate as well now after all that's done you're going to go back onto it and you're going to download msi afterburner okay guys this comes up here you're going to click on it and you're going to download it super simple really easy to use okay once you download it you're going to have this now as you can see here i have all i have done to mine is not overclocked um if you don't feel comfortable doing it okay don't worry but this is going to help so don't worry about if you don't want to turn your power limit up which which i which i think is fine they they, they put it at 100 percent because it's the, it'll probably be around there um just so they save the graphics card you know like not even save it it's just a precautionary thing so uh, for me i turn mine up to 100 maximum power uh, power limit okay but i'm going to show you how to set this up or what i do to set mine up okay you're going to click on the settings tab you're going to go to general you're going to go click on start window start minimized okay and then you're going to go to your fan speeds now i have my fans on a hundred percent you want that so the, the thing with the pcs right the cooler they run the better performance you're going to get so i have a nice steep fan curve as you can see right here okay guys going right up so uh as you can see it's in line with the 60 just before 60 so like 58 degrees the fans are kicked in and, and it's running at maximum performance okay you're going to apply that and if you if you want to have the same profile as me as well we're going to we're going to go through that in a minute but make sure you apply that guys okay user interface as you can see i'm using the msi cyborg cyborg afterburner just make sure you apply that as well okay so once you've got all that tick so in a general you have the start with windows start optimized i i personally would say turn your power limit up turn your temp limit up it, it's perfectly fine as long as it ain't going above 75 degrees under maximum load at any point then you're fine as long as you're in between that window just just remember if this is at 75 you're at maybe you need to turn the power limit down but i will turn this power limit up temp limit up okay make sure your fans are on auto so once you've done your fan speed where you want it i like a nice steep curve so they're running at max okay you're going to push the start window button here okay and then once you've done all that you're going to click you're going to click this right tab here you're going to unlock sorry click the right tab make sure the startup is is on and you're going to save the profile lock it down and then that is done and guys honestly just just from doing these these simple tips it saved it, it, it didn't save it. it gained me i would say up to 30 40 frames and especially under load it really did help like at the beginning of the races when I was playing GTA, it, it was just so much better, you know, and uh, I've noticed a massive difference. And I hope this helps. Like, I'm still learning and whatever I whatever I find, I'm going to share with you guys as well. And uh, I know it's probably a lot of people like like me out there who who, who bought a PC pre-built and, and we're all learning together. So whatever I find, I hope this helps, guys. It definitely helped me. Like I said, I gained 30 to 40 frames just from changing these certain things. And uh, I hope it helps you as well, guys. Thanks for watching.